Today, we're gonna be testing out a $50 cardio capsator to see if it's actually worth it or not. There's a lot of people be saying that cardio capacitors are a waste of time. Some are saying that cardio capacitor helps with your voltage. Some are saying that it only helps with your hell lights them in. Well, we're gonna put that to the test. Today, we'll be seeing what the capacitor is really capable of. So we're gonna be installing this capacitor inside my vehicle. I'll be giving y'all a real test on how the capacitor actually performs and all of that so make sure you guys drop a like on the video subscribe if you guys are new and let's jump right into the video <clears throat> now i have this pile cardio 5.0 farad capacitor straight out of the package this is a brand new capacitor and today we'll be testing this capacitor and we'll be installing it inside my vehicle now i do not know much about capacitor this will be my first time actually using one a lot of people been recommending this capacitor for my sound system since i'm basically on stock electricals so i have a stock alternator here i did a big three upgrade and i just have a big battery installed so this is my only battery here i did a battery delete and a lot of people been re recommending for me to add a capacitor to help with my voltage so we'll be putting the capacitor to the test to see if it actually improve my voltage or like improve anything else throughout my cardio sound system. This is how much my voltage be dropping before adding the capacitor to my vehicle. See how low my voltage is dropping guys. That's really bad bro. That's really bad bro. so that's expected with having a stock alternator guys my voltage will be dropping really low because the stock alternator is not sufficient to actually recharge my battery efficiently so we're gonna be testing if adding a capacitor now will improve anything my voltage drop or anything throughout my cardio sound system so let's get this capacitor installed and actually put the capacitor to the test let's go now to power up and install our capacitor now we found a location of where we want to mount our capacitor and this is where i mounted my capacitor now to install our capacitor now the layout of the diagram is that we're gonna connect the capacitor to our battery and then the ground in on the capacitor to the chassis of the vehicle and then the power wire leading to our amplifier so we're gonna connect the positive from our battery to the positive on this capacitor and then the negative to our chassis of the vehicle and then the next power wire going to our base amplifier so that is the layout of the install of this capacitor now to actually charge our capacitor now your capacitor will come with a little resistor where you guys should connect to your battery to your capacitor so that it can charge your capacitor so what we're gonna be doing here i already grounded my capacitor to my to my chassis i sanded down my chassis till i have beer metal and now we be connecting our power from our battery to the resistor to the capacitor to charge our capacitor so let's get that done okay so this is how it's supposed to be looking when you have your resistor connected to your battery and also your capacitor so we'll be charging the capacitor till it's reach at 12.1 12.6 volts around here and uh, we'll disconnect the resistor and actually hook up our amplifier and our power wire with the inline fuse to our capacitor so we're gonna be waiting till it reach to 12 volts it's charging right now and it's basically simple the diagram shows everything you guys need to know it's exactly what the diagram is saying and my vehicle is off too guys you guys will have to leave your vehicle off while actually charging your capacitor so we're gonna be waiting so the capacitor light is gone off now so what we're gonna be doing now is that we're gonna be connecting our power wire with the inline fuse i have an 80 amps fuse here which we'll be connecting on the capacitor and then we'll just hook up our positive from our base amplifier on the capacitor also so let's get that done so this is my capacitor now my capacitor voltage is sitting at 12.9 when my vehicle is off i already have my 
amplifier connected and I already have my battery connected to the capacitor. So it's just time for me to start up the car now and to see if there's any actual improvement um, with my voltage drop or like any kind of improvement with my base performance or anything. So, so let's do the test. So here we go. Let's turn on the vehicle now. <laughs> The vehicle is on. Let me go take a look on the capacitor now. I want to make sure that it's actually reading the correct voltage. So my voltmeter is showing 13 point, now up to 14.1. And then my capacitor is showing 14.4. So I think this capacitor voltage is a bit off. It's a bit off, it's showing 14.5 and my current voltage is showing 14.2. So my capacitor is off by 0.3 volts. So let's see if uh, my voltage actually improved while this capacitor is installed. So let's go. So here we go guys. So that was that was with the capacitor installed now. I don't know what to say about it. Uh I don't I cannot really actually tell a difference. Um yeah, I don't really know, bro. But uh the voltage, I, I don't even know what to say about it, bro. But with the capacitor, guys, ah, I don't even know what to say about it, guys. <laughs> but uh, what I would have to say, I think my base is hitting like a bit harder. I don't know if that's because of the the, I think there's a little improvement, like a tad bit, a tad bit, uh, with the voltage. The voltage will keeping up a lot more better. But I don't really know what to say about it, bro. But there's not really any difference. In my opinion, there's not really any difference when you have a capacitor installed. So, that's my opinion. The voltage is still similar. For my base-wise, I, I will have to feel this out, guys. I will have to probably do some runs, play music to see if, if there's actually any difference. But for right now, there's not really any big difference. If there were a difference, uh, what I would have to say is that my voltage slightly improved or probably like my bass amplifier is probably getting more power. But yeah, other than that, I don't think there's not really any difference. My headlights don't be dimming. My lights don't be dimming while playing music. Uh, my electricals are okay. It's just the stress on my stock alternator. Be sure to drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. And if you guys have any questions, any concern about anything, drop your questions in the comments. I'll be checking out your comments. And yeah, make sure you guys have a great one. Keep on basing. I love y'all guys. Peace.